I'm here with Brenda Schwader, and we are going to be talking about Facebook Live and other types of live streaming projects that you can do to enhance your business. A lot of our friends are selling their jewelry, and they're looking for ways to elevate it. Yes, absolutely. And this is one of the things that we can do to show what we do and to spread it out to the world. A lot of, a lot of what we do um, is educational now, and we can do this from our home um, with as, as simple as just one iPad and a stand. It is pretty amazing. I mean, you've been teaching mm -hmm. classes for a long time, and you've got it down to a science. And now you can just teach us online as well. So all the people who aren't able to physically be there can come and watch. Exactly, exactly. And they can ask you their questions. Yes, yes, right then and there, which is nice because it's a live component. And you really are building a community that you might not see or if you're not in a, a workshop environment, having that face-to-face, -face, you've got another type of note to face at least going on. Sure. So. And I think um, something that's so appealing about it is it allows you to expand your working from home aspect of your business. Yes. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of us used to feel like show dogs were like, pack up our stuff, do a show, pack up stuff, do the next show. <laughs> and this way you can be at home. Right, right. Which nice. is really nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. And but for live broadcast you really should take your pajamas off. I've found. I was going to say, <laughs> hmm. Do I have to? <laughs> How did you learn that lesson? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So what I've done is I've basically kind of come up with some, some pointers to, to make sure there's so much that we need to, what we can talk about with live broadcasts that we just put them all on post-it notes. And so one of the things that I wanted to talk about was that with this, um, you are, unlike a, a setting like this on a, a real live set, you are your director, producer, cameraman, video person, sound person, and the talent and the interviewer all wrapped in one. <laughs> it's a big job. Yeah. I mean, that can be daunting, but right. I also feel like don't get too deep into your fears about this. Right. Because look how many people are having success just taking a live or a video on their phone. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I think the opportunity is instead of having to be so formal um, that you can just make fun of yourself. I mean, silly things. You did an article about this. We're like, what are, what are the silliest things that happen to you when you're doing a video? And I mean, my cat has come across the screen or, you know, if someone comes in or the, you know, the, the heat comes on at the wrong time, you just have to be easy with yourself or you forgot a jump ring in the other room. <laughs> you, say, you just go get be right back. And <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, exactly. I think it gives your customers and your audience a chance to know you. Right. Yes. So. Yeah. And I think they, they like that. That, that. It's fun. I know I do, you know, when I'm watching other, other people, too. Um, so uh, what I wanted to also talk about is that you can pick your market. I mean, not every social um, component uh, network has the same market. So Instagram differs from Facebook, that differs from um, YouTube, and so you might kind of want to pick that. Some people do three screens, and you know some of the, the bigger personalities that we know, and they're doing simultaneous broadcasts. You've probably all seen that. But I like to, to start with just one, and just go straight, straight to that, uh, that venue, because I know my, my market pretty well. It's yeah. where all my, my people are, right? So, um, and then physical setup is kind of what you can see here, Katie, is that you can, as I said, you can go just simply to one camera, face forward onto you, and I just use a shortened um, tripod that I've got in, in any old camera store. Um, but you can also ramp that up and do um, another third party interface, um, and then you can have a switcher the third party thing in between, say Facebook or yourself, and then that allows you to do different camera angles. So, so for instance, right here I have uh, would be my main switcher, which is where I, which is kind of like my cockpit and where I'm changing my my angles. Um, but then that is also a camera that goes into this little light box and maybe is showing my finished product. Um, and this one, since I do a lot of what I do is on a jig, I need something that's face down, exactly face down. And so, for example, I would have this, this one actually put right up above me, and then I can sta and I station that one so it's, that camera angle is, is straight down without having fancy booms or things that are going on. Sure. Mm -hmm. But if you're starting out, you could just use one. Exactly. These options. Exactly. Just choose one that is mm -hmm. going to work best for what you're trying to convey. Right. But this is very similar. I mean, you've recreated recreated a television studio 
mm -hmm. in miniature here. Right, you know, right. And we're switching between cameras so that our viewers can get different angles. You're creating that same thing. Right, right. And you can even just tip, you know, tip your one iPad down. Or um, if you want, you could do it from your phone and just kind of show people. I've done that, taken people on tours before and just done a little, you know, live broadcast straight from my phone. Sure. Which is especially fun when you're doing like an artist date with your, your community. So, yeah. Um, so I also like to um, talk about timing. And, you know, in, in the past it was like, oh, videos, you know, you need to keep them short because you're going to lose people's attention. Well, short now in live broadcast time, since it's so much more uh, or less formal, and then there's always that repost um, that happens. So you do the live video, but then it also will stay on your, you know, your video, your, your, feed. your feed for however long you want it to be there. Well, and hopefully you get a lot of shares too. Exactly. And then you're getting exposed to a whole new, new audience. Right. So you can go longer on your, I was talking to a friend, Neele Patel, who also does live broadcasts, and he likes to keep his to about 20. I'm a little bit more of a chatter box, and so really? my longest, yes, <laughs> <laughs> my longest, uh, and I also do more lengthier tutorials um, because it is a, li a little bit more in-depth with, with, with that, what I'm trying to teach. So I'll go up to 50, you know, minutes, 5-0, mm -hmm. um, and I don't like to do, you know, any longer than that. Well, mm -hmm. I think um, your audience gets accustomed to the way that you do it, yeah. you know, so they subscribe yeah. and they right. expect that you're going to give them close to an hour of content. Right, yeah. right. And if they can't, like some people, I'm, I'm watching from the dentist office, but I have to go in now. I'll see <laughs> you, I'll later. you later. I'll catch you on the repost, yeah. <laughs> which is fun. I want to show them the post-its that you have on the tripod too. Okay. Because this is a really clever way of reminding yourself what to say mm -hmm. and also training your eyes in the right direction. Right. Right, because that's exactly. something you have to think about too. Right, exactly. And so, and you know, with the, you want to ask for shares, you want to um, just have, you know, I want to make sure I cover all these topics. And so I just take some fun, everything's better with washi tape. Well, yeah. And so I <laughs> just take this, because I can't count on my post-it notes, you know, sticking to this foam over here. And so I just tack them up there, just like, okay, I've done that, I've done that, and kind of, then you can kind of order them as well, so. That's well, fun. these are some great tips. I hope everybody tries it. I'd love to see all of our viewers making making videos. Thanks, thanks. And I great. hope if they have any questions, they'll give me a call. All right.